Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sichamba Jacob. All right, so we've got this question where we've been given uh, two terms. So the third term is uh, a 4 and the fifth term is a 16. So let's put up our data like this. Data. So for our data here, we're going to say third. We know that third is 3. Third term is what? It's a 4. So if you're able to read the question, the third term is 4. The fifth, fifth is 5. Fifth term is a, a 16. So this must be your first step. Whenever you're given a question like this, you identify the terms. So at position 3, there is a 4. At position 5, there is a uh, there is 16. The question here wants us to find the value of A and uh, of R. So how do we get to find this? First thing, our A is uh, the first term. R is the common ratio. So we're going to use the formula nth is equal to A R n minus 1. So this is the formula that we're going to use. Now, out of our data here, we have got two uh, terms. So meaning we need to form two equations. So the first equation will be of this, the second of uh, this. So all that you need to know is that uh, third is the n, third is n, fifth is n. The numbers that are this side, these will be what we're going to put here. So we're going to say 4 is equal to A R. What power are we going to put there? It's 3 because it's third. At third position, there is a 4. So this is a 4. And, we, and then we say minus C, a 1. We solve things where 4 equal to A R power 2. 3 minus 1, it's a 2. So this is the, our equation 1. So we have to keep this equation 1. Let me write it here. 4 equal to A R power 2. This is our equation 1. Okay? Uh, we keep it safe. We'll come and use it. So now we go to equation 2. Remember I said we're supposed to form uh, two equations. Equation 1 is right here. So we need to equation 2. For equation 2, so this 16 will be here equal to a r power 5, fifth there, 5, minus 1. We simplify, we have 16 equal to a r power 4. 5 minus 1, it's a 4. So this is the equation 2. We also keep it here, 16 equal to a r power 4. Now remember, the question here, they want us to find the value of a and R. So A, R, A, R is what we're looking for. So now, we'll take advantage of uh, the two equations. Let me write them here. So we have 4 equal to A, R power 2, okay? And 16 equal to A, R power 4. So these are the two equations. Now, how do we solve these equations simultaneously? The easiest way is to start with the, the one with the, the smaller power. This is power 4. This one is the power 2. So go to the one with power 2. Divide by R power 2 by R power 2. We are, we are trying to make a subject to the formula. So this and this will cancel. We shall remain with A equal to, okay, A equal to 4 over R power 2. Okay, if you are following nicely, okay, this A, which is this one, equal to 4 over, uh, over R power 2. So now, after forming this, our focus will be on this one here, this side, okay? We are going to get what is here, substitute in the other equation. So here it will be 16 equal to, where there is A here, because this is A equal to 4 over r power 2. So we're going to say 4 over r power 2 and here r power 4 will be right here. 
you see so i've just substituted this put it where a is and this is what we have such that uh, r power 2 into r power 2 it's 1 here it will give us r power 2 okay so here r power 2 maybe let me just show you how i've done it since this is a fraction here so when we divide there is r power 4 there over r power 2 so here laws of indices r 4 minus a 2 it will just give us a r power 2 4 minus 2 it's a 2 so this is what we have right here so we can even simplify we have 16 equal to 4 r power 2 we divide by 4 remember we are solving for r so divide by 4 this and this will cancel 4 into 4 1 into 16 it's a 4 so we shall have 4 equal to r power 2 now to solve for r we find the square root both sides so it will give us positive or negative 2 equal to r so the solution here will be positive or equal uh, i mean positive or negative uh, 2 equal to r or if you want you can say r is equal to 2 or r is equal to negative 2 so the value of r depending on how you've been asked the question sometimes they specify that okay let your r be the positive number you just say r equal to 2 okay now to find for a we have found r to find for a if your r maybe the condition in the question was z, your r must be positive so we are going to say r is equal to what to 2 and this is our r okay now what about a for a we come back to this right here at this stage we just say a equal to 4 over a 2 squared you substitute r we know that r is 2 you put it here so it will be 4 over 4 r power 2 is what i mean 2 power 2 is what it's a 4 of which 4 into 4 it's 1 in 2 4 there it's 1 we just remain with a 1 meaning our a is equal to a 1 so this is the, how it was supposed to be done thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe this has been isichamba